Welcome back for another episode of Factorio. This is episode number five of Factorio Diggy, and guess what? We're still digging. We are still digging. Or actually, I guess the robots are digging. They're mining up stuff. I'm standing here talking to you, so that's really nice. That's a nice change of pace. I am still doing the cave digging, and they're doing the ore digging, which I guess uh, machines have been doing the ore digging the whole time. Not really that different. Anyway. I have been scooping up all the ore that is not called uranium up in this area and all over the place, actually. But specifically here, we're waiting for a few of these guys to finish up. And then we're going to start redeploying our smelting stuff for our starter version of the base. All this stuff here, this is the, the steel, is going to get shifted up here. We'll have two smelting layouts for steel, four for iron, and four for copper. And then we'll put... Our stone and our coal on a belt as well, and we will um, have our starter base basically finished. We'll have to, we're gonna have to do some work over here. But first, before I get to that, let's head over here to the right. I'm about to add a lot more machines because I'd like to work towards launching a rocket today. And we're starting to have power spikes, so we need to add some more power over here. Unfortunately, there is some iron ore in the way, which I need to mine up because it's just too hard to find. And it takes too long to dig out the ore patches. I cannot just cover it up and ignore it. What was I going to do? Oh, yeah. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my robots in there for just a moment so that uh, when I place down this blueprint, nothing gets built just yet. Because we've got to place part of it and then uh, not place the rest of it. There. All right. So that's all like that. I just want to come in here and I want to grab the... I guess... Uh, give me a fresh deconstruction planner, please. There we go. And then do this by holding shift. No, that's not what I was thinking of. Uh, okay, maybe I'll just go ahead and do this. There's a way to get rid of the ghosted stuff. But I guess there's not much of that stuff that's ghost. There. Okay, robots. Build me more machines. I wonder what I... Oh, yeah, there's pipes here. These pipes don't need to be here. Okay. That's good. Oh, let's, let's walk up here and let them finish the rest. And then I'm going to have to hook up some water. And also hook up the belts of fuel. Yeah, chase me, robots. And for now, I'll just run up this belt like here until until all this ore has been dug up. There. Okay, so now they've got ore. I'll have to find them water in a moment. There is a little water source right there, which we might use. But first, let me tell you what we're going to be working on at the beginning of the episode. I've got all this stuff mining up. And you can see our buffer chests. So I've got a lot of buffer chests. And some of them are quite full. The All the iron buffer chests are full. And a lot of the coal buffer chests are full. The only way to really use this stuff is to scale up and, like, update these belts to red belts. Start using more things. Add more machines. Add the other things, which, which, which we'll need to launch the rockets, basically. All of these blueprints here. I'm going to have to make a diggy version of for our rocket fuel low density structures rocket control units and then put the rocket silo somewhere this thing i'm not making this thing on this map because it's just no it's not happening uh so uh what do i need to do we are going to redo this all this mess i'm gonna pick up all of it every last little bit and we are going to use what we learned last time to streamline it because now i know we can make a nice neat clean corridor we're gonna have Four belts of iron and four belts of copper in one quarter. Where's my walls? Yeah, they're going to be kind of like that. And uh, one, two, three, four. The top one is there. So we're going to have a corridor this wide containing those two. And then the other things below and above for the side corridors. Here we go. Yoinks! Oh, it's going to look so much nicer. Once we streamline this, we'll have a road there. A road there and nothing in between. This guy, let's see, you are 56 per second. You are 3.6 per second. And you're 32 per second. So we can get rid of some of these that are less than stellar in their performance profile. Okay, robots, get to work. Scoop all this stuff up. We have to redo it. We have to build it better. We have the technology now. Wow, that looks so much better. Of course, I haven't added any of the splitters, and none of the belts are going up, down, and there's no balancing yet, but 
just to look at it like this. It looks so much nicer. Now we need to add all the items back to the belt. I need to add all the splitters. Let's put a robo port right there. And then I need to change all these guys to passive provider. No, that's a requester chest. Passive providers. So that the robots can do the work for me because I don't want to transfer all that stuff. I just gave them requests to uh, put the iron that I picked up off of the belts originally. Put that back on the belts. Put the copper back on the belts. I don't think I have any steel and looks like I ran out of the stone that I had. So we can scoop that up, scoop that up. Let's see. Okay, the stone is there. Steel's going to come down here, so I guess. And once all this stuff is mined up on this side, let's see. How's the robots doing? Yeah, I guess they're going to be a little bit busy trying to keep up with that. Uh, once all this stuff is mined out, then we can we can fix a little bit of how things look on this side. But for now, I just want them to be able to go down the belt, and we will start splitting things off. Setting things back up so the base will be operational. There's that guy. Then the stone will come down here. Yoinks! And I guess I can get rid of some of these underground belts. Get rid of that, I guess. There we go. Okay, so we have steel back on the belt. We have got the... We got all the stuff, except for the green circuits. We need to start splitting off all the things. And then making sure we don't cause a cave-in when I um, start branching things off. And because of the location of the substations, which I decided to put down our broad uh, thoroughfare here, we'll have to move how some things are split off, which I don't think is going to be any big deal. Let's see. Can I do this? Ooh, or maybe I should reinforce, like, yeah, let's reinforce first. There we are. Okay, maybe like that, just to make sure. Just to make sure nothing bad happens, and I could even move the uh, the bricks over. Some of these builds are a bit close to the bus, and I'm not going to move the whole build. So we'll do what we can with what we got. Copper goes back down there, and then the other copper. Now that I can like do this a little bit better, this copper is going to be split off from there. This one's going to go like that. I'm going to take that off. And kaboom! We've got that set up again. And maybe uh, I'm just going to like add extra walls in here and there. Just whenever I see the little dust falling from the sky. This is the iron. And now that we have it, uh, this proper bus like this, we should be... Oh my goodness. <laughs> Makes my nervous every time that happens. Now that we have this proper bus and I can do some proper splittings and offshoots and things like that. I don't have to have this splitter here. So I can merge that off because eventually these are going to be all supplied from individual smelting systems. They're not going to be coming from one line and getting splint like that. So the base is operational once again. All the different modules north and south of the main bus have been plugged in. It looks much more streamlined than it did before. I did have to add, or I maybe I didn't have to, but I did just for my own peace of mind. I added some reinforcing walls here and there where we had to pierce our side walls to get some things going north or south. So now what we need to do, we need to start revising our smelting setup. Now that we've mined out a lot of this stuff and we have more space, and we, we're going to need it, especially since we're about to start working towards the uh, the rocket silo stuff, which is very resource intensive. We've got a new steel setup up here. We're going to give him a second one in a second. Let's redirect this iron ore. We're going to disconnect this guy right here. I'll just let him basically deplete all of that. And then we are going to run a red belt. The iron ore should be coming down in a second. Yeah, okay. So, uh, let's see. Steel plates right through here. Boom, boom, boom. All right. So, I think we're going to use red belts, even though this won't be a compressed red belt. I don't... Two of these, I don't think even compresses a yellow belt. I don't have my notes in front of me at the moment, but that's my recollection of how much it can produce. We need two of these for the starter base, though. And I think what we'll do, we'll just uh, get out of here. We'll just do this, and once we've redone some of this smelting stuff, I'm gonna let the robots start upgrading the base while I dig out stuff for the next section. Auto save, hooray! I'm just gonna go ahead and upgrade this manually, just uh, just for just because, and that's far enough. We'll let the robots do the rest after that. There we go. All right, the new steel is up and running. We just uh, we, technically we tripled our steel production, but I'm about to. Disconnect this guy. We've got to move him up here. I think I made a blueprint for it. Yeah, here we go. Diggy Steel. 
But yeah, maybe we'll uh maybe when I'm done I'll have a blueprint book of some of these builds. Alright, that's looking good. We got the solid fuel flowing into our second steel setup, and then we can get rid of this. This is where the old one was. And we need to set up requester chests for our new line, which is gonna come right down through here. Let's see, we have we have an empty one here. I got rid of the chest for the lines we weren't using, just to make it a little bit clearer. All right, so the steel's up and running. That should help our science a bit. I think we were a bit light on steel for some things. Oh, you know what? I think I disconnected the stone. So we need to reconnect that. That was right going right through there, and there is going to be a gap here of one belt just because of the way that the uh, the different things are situated around the walls. I think here's the uh, smelting layout for the next one that we're going to place right here. Yeah, we're going to have a space for a belt there, so maybe I'll run the stone through there. This guy is sort of in the way, but I should be able to make it work. Oh, these are red belts anyway. Yeah, okay, we can just do it like this. I can keep the light even. Let's put the light back. Run this guy like this, and then we need to go visit our red belt production area and tell the robots to start upgrading a lot of our base while I dig out stuff. So it's time to start upgrading the base to red belts and we're gonna let the robots do it while I dig out space for the next few builds and I've set up some storage chests here to hopefully scoop up all the items they pick up when they're replacing things so that these items get, well, theoretically, hopefully they get, at least some of them get recycled into these chests because you can see I already, I've already picked up quite a lot of this stuff as I've been running. In fact, I don't need any of this stuff anymore. Not really, we're gonna switch 100% to the red belts at this point, more or less. We don't necessarily have to. It's just a nice... It's nice for me to be able to simplify the amount of items in my inventory. As you can see, it's gotten quite cluttered. So one thing we'll need is a upgrade planner. You can sort of... This can uh, do things by default, but I want to specify exactly what to upgrade so that it won't upgrade too much. Because if you tell it to upgrade all the belts, it will upgrade from yellow to red. But it's also going to upgrade... If I just don't put any settings in, it'll upgrade from red to blue, and we're not at the blue level yet, so I'm going to tell it exactly what I want. And hopefully it does exactly what I want. So we're going to upgrade just the, just the belts right now, because we've already upgraded our smelting to the steel furnaces. I think that's all we really need to worry about right now. Yeah, okay. Uh, where did it go? Upgrade. Oh, you know what? Did I not click save, and so it didn't end up in my... Oh, no, it's right here. I see it. It's yellow, and here it's green. Ah, discrepancy. There it is. Okay, good. So, let's go to this screen. First thing we want to upgrade probably is the iron and the copper, and uh, the green circuits. We'll just, um, I'm just going to tell them to do all this. I'm going to be digging for a little bit. So, robots, <laughs> have, have fun with that. And then, just indiscriminately as well, the green circuit line. I'm going to tell them to do all this. Uh-huh, and uh, hopefully that hit up all the splitters. The splitters need to be upgraded, and then we'll just tell them to upgrade. Actually, this whole build needs to get upgraded because for the the copper place to get all the way down here to the bottom, they need to be upgraded to a better tier. And then similarly, the other one that needs to get upgraded all the way down is this guy. There we go. And I think maybe then it might be a good idea to upgrade the uh, the plastic being outputted. I don't know if the coal needs to be upgraded off the top of my head without looking at some notes, but I'll just do that right now. And there we go. That's going to take them quite a while to do. And if the robots, I, they're probably not all over here, but it'll take them a while. they got to fly all the way over here from wherever they're hanging out. I guess they're probably... Can we track? Where are they? Robots... I should have. I've got 868. Oh, I know what the problem is. Okay. I previously, yeah, I changed the... <laughs> I know what the problem is. I changed these to steel chests because I didn't want the uh, construction robots doing stuff for me while I was running around with my personal robopot... My personal roboport robots doing stuff. So, once I change this to passive provider, we should be in business. There we go. There we go. Oh, you know what? Uh, I think what I'm also going to do, I'm going to take off my own personal 
Roboports. Because I do have these items in my chest, so as soon as I... In my inventory, so as soon as I get close enough to these belts, my own robots are going to start doing stuff. And since I'm going to be digging, it would be better to have some more personal laser defense. Alright, have fun, robots! You can see the, the robot flying speed is pretty good at this point. Actually, it turns out the robots are way faster than me. They had finished upgrading all of the base, and I gave them more to do, and they finished that before I managed to dig out all the space we need for the next few builds and to put them down and to update them for the the layouts and, you know, avoid the cave-ins, all that kind of stuff. Kerplop, kerplop. All right, let's connect this guy. Let's connect that guy. Let's make sure everything works. Should be fairly straightforward. These builds are pretty straightforward. We're just putting two things together to make one thing, and that goes on the belt with this other thing, and those two things go together to make this thing, and that thing goes on a belt. That's Factorio. Uh, okay. Let's see. This thing needs to go over in that direction, so... I guess... One, two, three, four, five, six. Let me just put an additional... Not that... Where's... I'm hitting my Q button. Yeah, do this. Okay, good. And then like this, and we'll use a long underground belt. One, two, three, four, five... That's not going to fit because of this guy. All right, we'll worry about that later. Let's just make sure everything is being constructed correctly. Do we have rocket control units getting made? Yeah. Feeding this base with enough stuff to make it work is going to be a huge hassle. This is a starter base for normal Factorio, and it, uh, if you didn't know, it is set up to run 45 science per minute for all the different sciences, including rocket science. Some beginner bases just start with launching rock, but this... This base is intended, uh, for my bootstrap layout, it's intended to get you going to build the next thing. So it also does rocket science. 45 science per minute. And I'm not even close to feeding a fraction of that. We're going to have to think about, uh, maybe we'll have to take a trip farther away from where we spawn to try to find more dense ores. Or something like that. May have to set up some trains, all that kind of stuff. Okay, that's getting made. Hooray, we can set up the belts afterwards. Thank you, robot. Let's make sure that our... This guy is getting crafted. Where's my bottle? Uh, not my bottles, my pipes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's going there. Are all the pipes hooked up and all that kind of stuff? Yep, okay. We've got solid fuel. Even more solid fuel getting put on a belt. That was... Uh, something just finished researching. I just queue stuff up at this point. We've got petroleum gas, like usual, light oil, heavy oil. Heavy oil's going down here to the bottom. And uh, we don't need an entire chemical plant, but unfortunately, you can't place a fraction of a chemical plant. So it just sits there until it gets enough, then it puts the light oil in the system. Light oil goes here, and the petroleum gas goes here. All right, solid fuel going down the belt. And we are making rock fuel. All right, so we have the things we make. I'll have to figure out the layout for the belts. We can go through and delete. This is functional. Let's delete that. This is functional. Let's delete that. I got the backup in my master page on my blueprint book there. So I just delete the local ones when I'm done with them. There. Okay. Remove. Uh, maybe we'll reinforce a little bit here and there on the edges. All right, I think that should be just fine. Where's the rocket solid? I can never find it. There we go. It still looks weird to me that they made it square. I guess I kind of understand why they did. It still looks funny. And then we need to just adapt this guy to make sense with that. No big deal. Well, let's just try. What happens? Oh, hey. That kind of fits most of the way. All right, so that was easy. Easier than I thought it was going to be. Let's hook the stuff up. Let's make sure it works. And then we have to try to uh, get a whole lot more materials because it's going to be really hard to feed this fella. If I... Let's see. If we... Oh, there's a wall there. I can probably... Let's see. What can we do here? I can back this up one space because there's a wall. We can do this. And then change that. Okay, blue circuits, there we go. And then this guy can just have a belt. This guy can have a belt. And I think we are up and running. Did I connect everything? And is everything being constructed? 
Okay, that's working. Uh, are you working? You are being constructed. You are getting fed into here. Are you getting iron plates? You are. You're getting the batteries now. You're making gear wheels. Gear wheels are going into here. That's getting made. We've made a radar. It's getting put into here. Okay, but I think it's working. I think everything's hooked up properly. I have one <laughs> productivity module rank three. We'll have to make some more. That's not really the problem here, though. The problem is feeding this thing with this base. You can see my belts. I'm having a hard time just feeding one red belt's worth. So here's our problem. I can barely manage to feed one red belt of ore. If we follow the trail back and back, you can see how fast we are mining all this stuff up and how much I just have to keep expanding and expanding. And every time I expand, i got to dig. So it's very time consuming. All the way back down to here. This is where our mining machines have gone to. I'm assuming this just keeps on going. Well, progress is being made, slowly but surely. I'm adding more and more mining all around anywhere I can find it. And we're trying to find a way to get it back to the other side of the base. We're 52% of the weight there. Got some mining here. We're going down this way, up and around, mining up some of this stuff, mining up this guy. There's a whole bunch of iron right there we've got. have two red belts going up and over down to the smelting area here. got two of the setups for the copper plates and two for iron plates and two for steel. And then the down and around is doing all this, all this right here. And then it goes down around here, down through here, down through here, down through here, all the way up all this stuff is, uh, this area is going to be mined out pretty quickly, so we just need to keep expanding. The green circuits, I think, are the bottleneck. They're doing much better than they were. I wonder if there's a belt that's not fully upgraded or something. Well, I did some optimizations to the green circuits and a little bit of optimization of the red circuits, which entailed uh, basically just forcing all the stuff into the area with the prioritizing of the splitter right here say hey go left everything there we need to go left now we're getting a lot more saturation into our red circuits so we're producing more red circuits which was uh the thing holding us back on the rocket control units which was the thing holding us back on the rocket which i think might actually be ready i wonder how many mining machines we have up and running right now 250 very spread out. We got some here. We got some up above. I think I added more, like, way down here. Anyway, whatever. It's time. Let's go. Launch the rocket. Hooray! We did it. We launched a rocket underground. Where is it going to go? Is this going to cause a massive cave-in? I would not be surprised, but it probably not. Does this mean we're not really underground? Oh, there it goes. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Your team reached level 46. Oh, we don't get the end game score, but I guess that's really... That's not the end of this playthrough. We are sort of just getting started. Next episode, we are going to do some exploration and see what we can find. See if the density of the ores gets a little bit better if we travel farther away from spawn. Like it does in a normal map, but I have no idea what it's going to do on this map. But that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.